Hi, my name is Sherry and I work for the Columbus Metropolitan Library. Talking to your child throughout the day, even when they're a baby and maybe too young to respond, is so important for their language growth and development. Today, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for talking to your baby. Today, I'm going to be using one of my favorite books, Peekaboo Morning by Rachel Isadora and published by G.P. Putnam Sons Books for Young Readers. I will also be using this blue scarf, but if you don't have a scarf at home, that's okay. Just use whatever you have on hand. A piece of paper or even a small towel would work. Before you get started, make sure your baby is sitting safely and comfortably facing you. It's so important that whenever we are talking to our babies that we take the time to make eye contact. Not only do they love it, but it really helps develop that special bond between the adult and the child. I might start by showing my baby the cover of this book. I would talk about, ask questions, and describe the things that I see. So for example, I might say, do you see a baby peeking behind somebody's leg? Who do you think that they're peeking behind? What do you and that baby have in common? I see that he's got, an, uh, he's got eyes and a nose and a mouth for smiling just like you. And I might point to my baby's eyes, nose, and mouth while I'm talking to them to really help get them engaged. Do you and this baby have hair that's the same or different? Is the skin color of this baby the same or different than yours? One of the things that I love most about this book is that it's simple and repetitive. Each page says, peekaboo, I see, and then describes something that they see. For example, my mommy. One thing that I might do while reading this book is play peekaboo with my baby. So I can use my hands over my eyes and say peekaboo. I can use the scarf over my face and say peekaboo. You can even put the scarf gently over top of your baby's face while you're reading the book. So for example, peekaboo, I see my daddy. I see that this daddy is wearing blue pajamas and is lifting their baby in the air. Oh, maybe the baby's peeking behind the daddy's leg. It's a great idea to let your child hold and explore the book. If they wanna put the, baby, the book in their mouth, that's okay. That's just how they're exploring their world. Talk about and describe the things that you see in the pa on each page. Talk about the family members that you see on each page. We all know that babies don't like to sit still for very long, and that's okay. Don't ever feel like you have to read the book from beginning to end. You can skip pages, or you can just stop in the middle if your baby starts to get fussy. Do whatever feels right for you and your baby. Playing peekaboo with your baby is a great game that is so easy to do on the go, whether you're waiting for the bus or waiting in line at a grocery store. You can grab something nearby like a piece of paper, or if you happen to have that scarf on hand, you can use that too, or even just your hands. If your baby has other siblings nearby, they can also play peekaboo with the baby. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about how to talk and play with your baby. Try some of these tips at home or on the go to help get your child ready for kindergarten.